Kasasa, and I'm a sophomore at North Platte High School. And this poem is called Colored Pencil Eyes. My little sister has light brown hair, like coffee with too much cream, which happens to be just how she drinks it in the early morning, insisting she'll drink it all, then leaving half the cup cold on the desk for me to clean up. My little sister has freckles dotting her nose, like the stars we lie in the driveway looking at, hoping and praying to see a shooting star. I never see one, but she does, and she describes it as the most brilliant thing in the sky. My little sister has hazel eyes, blending seamlessly from emerald to cappuccino like the colored pencil she glides perfectly in her sketchbook, full of the art she creates. My little sister is beautiful. Like the many flowers I stopped to photograph on our walk, she says, stop taking pictures, because she never sees the beauty quite like I do. My sister is shy, yet strong, independent, yet loving, logical, yet a dreamer. My little sister, her brain never stops running. Those colored pencil eyes flick back and forth as she worries endlessly. Those colored pencil eyes stare hardwired at the paper as she writes a beautiful story. Those colored pencil eyes lock with mine as we think the same thing at the same time, but the telepathy only sisters understand. But my little sister, She's intelligent. The box she thinks outside of is not even in view as, the stars as her thoughts race through the night sky. But my little sister, she's doubtful. Her meteor mind to her is only a rock. Her colored pencil eyes are only mud. Her flower face is an only a plant. And instead of admiring, she is worrying. Of the storm yet to come, of what people think, of her friends as they hurt, of her family when they're ill, of the wind slapping the windows. She's always worrying. It's not her fault, of course, because her meteor mind soars too far. And everyone knows you can't stop a meteor. I often wonder about my little sister's future. Maybe someday she will find the person of her dreams, and her charming children will go to the movie theater and see their mother's animation on the big screen. Maybe. My, a young man will walk into a tattoo shop, and my sister will honor his mother in the most beautiful way. Maybe my sister will wake up early and drive to work, and 25 little children will smile with glee at the sight of their favorite teacher. I know that someday my little sister will make me proud as she leads the life of her dreams. But for now, she sneaks into my bed late at night and closes her colored pencil eyes and calms her meteor mind, and I stroke her cold coffee hair and hold her as she falls asleep. <laughs>